Good morning. We're here with David Beyer from Apple Inc. And our question for David is, uh, may, could you talk about one emerging trend that you see making a, uh, a huge impact on education over the next few years? Uh, certainly. I, I think uh, the one that people talk about but really have to really dig a, a bit to really understand the impact is going to be mobility. And the fact that uh, for a vast majority of today's school children, um, that uh, the connections between informal and formal learning opportunity uh, are just absolutely blending. And the reason for that is because of the nature of small devices and uh, that which, uh, you know, devices that are with kids 24 7, on, constantly on, and, um, and what they can do with those devices are, are, is tremendously engaging. And that's only going to intensify as companies like ours continue to build out yeah, a number of devices that really converge the way kids think and, and want to learn and things to do, games to play. And so the opportunity to, to really on the, on the trend side is for companies like all of ours here to really, um, really marry the focus of formal and informal learning. And once you do that, you really begin to question that little red schoolhouse and its uh, need and viability in this global world. Now, one of the issues is today, or the big disconnect between mobility and what schools are doing, is that uh, schools are, are banning the use of a, of a lot of the mobile devices. And I understand that, there is, that there's very good reasons why they have to do that, but what's going to propel mobile devices uh, to be used more by students in educational settings? Well, I think, I think you transform from the inside out, and I think what happens is application providers, uh, such as those who are here at, at the SAA conference as well as uh, watching online, need to really take a look at the potential of educationally, pedagogically sound apps, uh, both for supplemental and, and comprehensive, um, uh, addressing comprehensive needs. Once that happens, so there's a, a, a bit of legitimacy and credibility on these devices that savvy teachers, some of whom are really empowered, say, we're going to use this and we're going to pass the test, by golly, using these devices. So there's a little proof. And then at that point, it's also a gateway because parents will understand it students will be engaged, you might even begin to reduce the dropout rate. So I think, I think the, the, the need to get inside the schools for some adoption of the types of applications here and there, take those examples, promote them far and wide, and I think the Department of Education with its many different grant programs uh, as a result of stimulus is interested in doing that sort of thing. Then export those so that you have a basis to ask the question, how do we want school to look and how do we want learning to look so it meets the needs of all students? But I do think you have to have some victories and some wins inside the classroom. Okay. Well, David, thank you very much and have a great rest of the conference.